from Whole Foods. I am starting my keto diet today in, um, in an attempt to lose 25 pounds by the time Chris and I go to Cannes, France, which is on June 5th. So how I chose this diet, basically I asked around, I started Googling, I was trying to figure out a diet that would um, allow me to still enjoy food. Um, if I have to give up things like sugar and carbs, um, and alcohol, I wanted to be able to still at least have some food that I liked. And I had stumbled upon a website and it was called Butter Makes Your Pants Fall Off. And that stopped me dead in my tracks. I said, all right, this has to be the diet for me. And it was. So basically what a ketogenic diet is, is you're getting rid of sugar, you're getting rid of carbs, and you're replacing it with protein and um, fat, healthy fat, and your body goes into ketosis. So your liver produces ketones and that's what it uses as fuel. So you basically start to burn all of your stored fat and I have a lot of stored fat. So anyway, I went to Whole Foods and this is what I bought. Now I am going to tell you right now, I am no expert. This is literally keto for dummies and I am the dummy because I don't really know that much. I just spent the last week researching. And so if any of you are keto experts, feel free to chime in in the comments. If any of you have tried keto, give me some recipes because I am starting out fresh today. But I'm going to give you an idea of what I bought today. So I kind of broke it into different sections, but basically in the keto diet, you have to drink half of your body weight. Um, right now, I weigh about 145 pounds, which is 25 pounds over my normal. So I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. So um, what I did was... Um, I bought a new water bottle because you know what let's face it water sucks and it's always better and easier to drink water when you have a really cute bottle so I just bought this bottle at Target I hate um, metal bottles I don't know for whatever reason I hate that so I have to have glass um, this was a really cute little water bottle that my company gave me on a trip to Thailand a couple of years ago so I love this one um, I also bought LaCroix so if anybody likes LaCroix these are my two favorite flavors coconut and berry and then I also got some tea, so I can make hot tea or cold tea. Um, the Republic of Tea is my very favorite. I am obsessed with it. I like the peach and the blackberry sage. And then last but not least, um, I am switching over from Starbucks to Bulletproof Coffee. My really fun neighbor who lives across the street from me, and just her name is Desiree, she just dropped off this um, Bulletproof Coffee, which everyone raves about. And I'm actually going to teach you tomorrow how to make bulletproof coffee the keto way. So that's what I'm going to be drinking. As far as vegetables, you want to um, really focus on vegetables that are grown above ground. So I bought spinach. This is actually, there's a lot of firsts for me here, but this is the first time I ever actually bought spinach or will ever eat spinach. So this is kind of a big step for me. I bought some green beans. I bought, Arctic, what are these? Brussels sprouts. You don't even know what they are because I don't ever eat vegetables. I bought some spaghetti squash. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, and onion because I'm going to make chili, lettuce, and avocado. This is huge on the keto diet. I will be eating a ton of avocado. As far as fruit, um, you're really not supposed to eat a lot of fruit on the keto diet. If you do eat fruit, you have to eat it in small quantities and you've got to keep it to blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, um, and then of course lemon for my water or lemon for fish, whatever. My protein is 100% um, grass-fed beef, um, bacon. My daughter, Lily, has been begging for a pet pig for about two years now. So our entire family has been banned from eating pork, ham, or bacon. So I actually have to hide my bacon in the um, refrigerator. Um, and then I got some salmon. I don't like cooking fish. I get really grossed out, and so I buy it already pre-made at Whole Foods. Eggs be eating a ton of eggs, probably morning, noon, and night. Um, some almond butter, and then I also got some little sausages, some little smoked sausages. If I get really hungry, I can nibble on that. Next is the cheese category. You can have cheese and sour cream and butter and whipped cream, which is really one of the reasons why I picked the keto diet. So I get all kinds of cheese. We're not allowed to have um, crackers, but I got some perfectly crisp Parmesan, um, which is just 100% Parmesan cheese. There's nothing else in it, so I can use that. I got some feta, some goat cheese. Um, this, if you guys have never tried this, this is my favorite um, 
the sartori cheese. It is the Merlot. If you've never had that, this is the best. Some cream cheese, some brie. Um, next is nuts. Macadamia nuts are great. Walnuts. Um, I got some sunflower kernels for my salad. These things are all ingredients that I'm going to need based on recipes that I have found on different keto um, apps. Almond flour, coconut flour, unsweetened shredded coconut, and white chia seed. I'm not exactly sure what I'm making with these things, but I bought them. And then um, heavy whipping cream, organic. Butter, Kerrygold is the best organic butter. I got the unsweetened. Um, I got some sour cream. I got some full fat Hidden Valley organic ranch dressing. And I had a really hard time finding a yogurt that doesn't have a lot of sugar. It's almost impossible. But at Whole Foods, I did find this. It's from Coco Yo. It's living coconut yogurt. Um, I don't know if it's any good, so stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. But there's really um, no sugar added. And then, oh, somebody's at our door. The mis miscellaneous. So, um, I have olive oil, that's a huge piece of this puzzle, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar. Again, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that, but we've got that. I've got beef broth. You definitely need to have a lot of salt in this diet, so I got Himalayan pink salt, which is supposedly the best. Um, and I've got some olive oil spray, all kinds of spices and seasoning, and then some garlic to use, as well as Tabasco. And then lastly, with regards to, um, can't have any sugar, he's at, he's at the front door, I think, his mom. Um, can't have any sugar, but I got some stevia um, drops, liquid drops in chocolate and then in plain um, to try, or you can just do the powdered as well. So I hope that this gives you some good insight into what to get if you're gonna go on a keto diet. Stay tuned, I will keep you updated on what I'm cooking and let you know how it goes. Bye guys.